Alright. Yeah, I feel like it, this is gonna be so hard to, to pull off, like, anything with a small weapon. I feel like good we um, big weapons are gonna have a, a much easier time, but... This is downright. <laughs> like, this is so precise, holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's downright useless. I mean, it's doable, but it's so damn hard that if anyone is able to pull that off mid-fight, it's going to be a miracle. Maybe if you come to someone from the side a bit, you have to be a bit to their right to do it, perhaps. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay, so you have to, like, get to someone starting by going a bit to your right and their left. And... <laughs> Even then, like, if they walk backward, it's gonna be, uh, <laughs> pretty damn hard. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think I would try to pull that off with a dagger, but at least it's possible. <laughs> yeah, let me try the same thing. Maybe all the weapons kind of work a bit like that, perhaps. Hmm. It's gonna be quite hard with straight sword. What about the backswing? Let's try a backswing. Oh, make that. Oh! Can you try parrying it? You... Yeah, try parrying it. Oh, nice! Okay, so you can't parry that. That might be cool. Yeah, that might be cool. That's cool. Okay, yeah, that actually might be useful. <laughs> and cool thing is, uh, just try blocking there just to make sure I see if I get the strike. Oh, no, not this time. Okay, yeah, so I can start by uh, locking on for the first swing and unlock for the second one, and I have enough time to dead angle it. Oh, maybe not actually. Hmm. It's, I feel like I have to, like, I get close to you locked on, and then as soon as the first swing, uh, I let go the first swing, it seems like I have to unlock right before that. To have, like, enough time to, like, um, angle the second swing properly. But it seems fairly reliable. Try, uh, walking backward. Or try doing that while you walk backward. Oh, nice! God damn, that might actually be, uh, quite useful. Wow. Okay, try to, um, like, say you'd want to backstab me, for instance. You'd be, like, strafing to the the opposite side of my dead angle. Yeah, this side. Try to do that, maybe. Oops. <laughs> While blocking, of course. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Alright, let's try again. Maybe, uh, maybe I can get a, a better... Eesh, yeah. Seems very risky. If I do it on the other side. Doesn't seem as reliable on the other side. Okay, even if I land that hit though, you're, you don't get stunned for that long, so you might even be able to get a backstab on me, even if I land that. And if I miss, it's a backstab, pretty much. Yeah. Ah, uh, feels bad. Yeah, even though the, these dead angles are possible in real fight scenarios, it's gonna be so hard to pull off. I mean, even then... Yeah, and if you have a weapon that can roll catch like a katana, it's EG too. Yeah, I'm trying to roll right after as well, so I'm pretty much giving you a free backstab in exchange for a dead angle. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe for a last hit, I don't know. Yeah. Well, at least it's possible, but, uh... 
it does uh, leave you open quite a lot. I don't know if, uh, whoops, maybe, uh, whoops, not what I wanted. I keep kicking by mistake. <laughs> well, it seems reliable to do, it's just that you kind of put yourself at risk when you're doing it, I feel like. Or uh, I'm, I'm putting myself at risk, I mean. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, at that distance, that might be possible then, okay. Gotta be careful. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so it, definitely the way to do it with straight sword is gonna be angli angling it to the right, while as the dagger it was angling it to the left. Okay, but it's definitely possible and there's definitely some, some things to try out with straight sword. I think really the angle is to the right, uh, whether it's the backswing or the first swing. Yeah, definitely something here. Maybe that first swing might be even better than the second. Whoops. As I don't know. Since I saw my back though, it feels dangerous, but it's it seems fairly reliable. But let's try let me try that R2. <laughs> I don't think it, yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be. No, I don't think so. Actually, forget it. <laughs> Fuck that R2. Okay, let's try uh, next one on the list is the great sword. Um, great sword might be a bit easier. Be here. Maybe not one handed, but who knows? Whoops. Yeah, okay, again to the right, but. One-handed feels kind of hard to pull off. I think it's just going to be better two-handed. Yeah. It's actually fair. Yeah, it, it does feel kind of easy, actually. Okay, try... Yeah, it feels like fairly safe. Maybe not that far. If you're walking backward, it's like the... The swing is not uh, fast enough, I feel. Yeah. Oh, okay, maybe... I don't know. Let's try to go toward this, uh, this way. Yeah, straight 90 degree angle. And even if I do a bit more than 90, I, um, I just whiff, pretty much. Seems possible, but... To the left, it's just not gonna happen, I feel. Maybe if I try to go to the left while doing the 90, yeah, maybe that. I think it might be even uh, better to run up to you, something like that. Hmm. It feels risky though, like if, um, like if say I'm doing that to you once in a fight, I feel like the second time around you'd have the, the very easy backstab, you just like walk up toward my other side and just get an easy grab. What about the... let's try other attacks, actually. If I do uh, this and then to the other side. Okay. Okay, that second swing seems... Uh, Alright. Hmm, I have to be careful though, because I'm, I'm showing my back again. It feels like, yeah, feels like the trend here. Whoops. <laughs> At least you get stunned longer than the straight sword. But if you're walking backward after that second swing, I, or to the side even, I feel like you get a yeah free backstab right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Seems uh, pretty risky. It's like, um, depending on where you are, the angle that I need to do changes. So if, if you try to walk to the side like that, I need to angle it less. And if you stay like in front of me, I need to angle it more. I 
Yeah, I don't think that would be a good idea, actually. I think this one is much, uh, much better. Still hard to do, though. You really have to turn your character, uh, at 90 degree, or, or just a bit more. I mean, it's, it's possible, but definitely you would have to practice it. Alright, let me try, uh, other attacks here. What about the rolling? Oh my god. <laughs> Tracking on these attacks is pretty... Uh... Okay, try to walk away uh, after... Uh, or... Just try to walk away right now. I'm just going to try to roll toward you. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to like uh, aim it like directly at you to even have a chance of uh, catching your shield. And because of the tracking, like uh, I don't even have enough time to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It feels bad. Okay, let's try uh, the other two. Oh. Oh. It's like a free backstab, but <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe who knows? Okay, I don't. I just either like do or die. <laughs> I don't know if um okay, it if I I don't know. Like, let me try it a bit more. Try to um backstab me as soon as uh, I hit you. I want to see if um. Like, you try to backstab me if I can have the opportunity to attack again and be safe after that R2. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's a... Hmm. I don't know if... It feels like you might be able to pull off, but I'm not sure. Very interesting. Maybe with latency, because I think we have a good connection. I'd have to see that in a fight, but it, it, what if you uh, walk away from that R2? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, going to be a good time. <laughs> yeah, it's free backstab pretty much. Yeah, oh boy, yeah. Yeah, it's... Oh yeah, there's no way I can, uh... There's no way I can land it if I'm not turning away like that. You really have to be hugging your opponent and they can just walk away while you're doing it, it seems. Let's try, uh, this right here. This should be a lot easier. I think I... I was trying this one out already. It's really, uh, angling it to the right. Like, I feel like you run away, or you run to your, toward your opponent and uh, try to position yourself a bit to the left and then angle it to the right. I don't know though. If you hit the shield, it's not too bad, but if I miss completely, you get a free backstab. Okay, try to uh, walk backward, see... Uh, It feels harder. Definitely feels harder to, to get. Yeah. Too much free BS there. So, I feel like most of these dead angles, they're... They, you're so much harder to do if you're just straight up walking away. If you're walking away like that, it's very hard to actually pull it off. Because... Okay, let's try that. Hmm. 
Yeah, I need to angle it even more. God damn. Yeah, you ha yeah, I have to like angle it like crazy if you go to the side like that. So the direction you're going kind of changes my angle, it seems like. I think it feels easier. Yeah, I think it feels easier if you, uh, yeah, go this way. Uh, not this way, the other way. Yeah, this, uh, <laughs> no, the opposite. Per you're right, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, I think it's easier. Yeah, I think it's easier if you go to your right. It kind of gives me like a better angle, it feels like. Yeah. That's good to know though, like, so <laughs> if you don't want to get dead angle, don't uh, strafe to your right, I guess. Strafe to your left. Yeah, because if you strafe to your left, um, I have to angle it so much more and it's actually harder. Yeah, I have to like completely turn around, it seems. Yeah, it definitely is a lot harder from this side. And it makes me do that, which is bad. Like, it's going to be a free BS for you if I actually miss one. Interesting. Yeah, pretty interesting. Alright, let me try uh, other attacks. Maybe the R1 could have a... Oof. Oh, uh, you're right, actually. Yeah. Exactly what, uh, what you told me uh, right there. 45 degree to your left. Wow. Okay, so you knew already, right? Oh. So you're, mas you're a mastermind. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Try to back up against that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. No no way it's happening. What's the R2 on that thing? This? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's free backstab, but I'm... <laughs> I mean, it might work every once in a blue moon. Who knows? Oh my god. Or not. <laughs> Oof. <I'm... laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want to make a montage, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oof, yeah, and you have to be like exactly behind that R2, but it's technically possible, I guess. Wait a second here. I can angle it at the last minute, though. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, I can start the R2 looking forward and then change the direction like later during the swing so it's might actually not be too bad try or uh, walking away i don't think i'm gonna be able to pull that off while you walk away but yeah i don't think so yeah no it's yeah it's just too slow if you're walking away if you're going forward though i mean if your opponent doesn't roll as well either you can still do it but I don't know how useful that is. It's actually really hard to um, angle the swing after the roll. Like I'm, I have to almost roll at like a random direction. It seems like it would be very easy to, for you to backstab me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's. I mean, not only is it going to be telegraph, but. Uh, like one wrong move and you get backstabbed and you're pretty much dead. Yeah, I don't think the rolling is gonna, gonna be good, but at least it's possible when they're not moving like most things. I have to angle it to the right, it seems. Whoops. Even when you're not moving, I, I'm like locked in the direction I started, so I really have to like, angle the swing before the, the attack even comes out. It's actually quite tricky. Yeah. 
I mean, it's, it's possible, but again, I don't, I don't know if it's that great. So I guess the two-handed running is still the best. Try uh, walking away for uh, against the two-handed running. Ish. Like I know the, uh, ang yeah, I know the angle, like I, I know what to do, it's just uh, when you're moving like this, it just doesn't reach if you're not staying, standing in front of me. So like walking away like this kind of counters the, like I can hit your shield, that's for sure, but getting the uh, the dead angle seems quite hard. And as soon as I miss it, you pretty much get a free backstab if you're looking for it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem uh, that great. I mean, it's good when you're not... Um, when you're not moving. Like when you're standing still or walking forward or maybe even to the side. But... As soon as you walk back backward away from me, I have to change the uh, the angle to make it a bit more forward, and it barely reaches. I feel like I know the angle. It's just uh, it's just hard to pull off. I have to turn my camera as well. If it feels it's weird. So definitely have to angle it to the right with this and try to be on your left side when you're doing it. Because otherwise, if, if I'm on your right side, it's just gonna whiff like that. Let's try the killage that the killage has. I kind of fear like this one is <laughs> for some reason gonna be good as well. <laughs> like the killage doesn't have enough going for it. God damn, it's actually, uh, I have to start unlocked almost. If I do it to this side. <laughs> or not. It's weird, like, I, there's some... Serious forward momentum on that second swing. That's like I'm swinging too far. And I'm barely uh, swinging to the side. It just has some crazy forward momentum. Oops. <laughs> this is... uh. Yeah, it's actually quite hard. It has a lot of forward momentum on uh, on these attacks. Like I'm staking it, taking a step in whatever direction I'm taking. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, let me try one-handed maybe. Okay, there you go. I mean, it's like straight sword, but significantly harder. Seems possible, though. It feels somewhat not too risky because the recovery is so short. Although if you walk away, it's just too short to uh, to land even. Well, at least it's doable. What what's the R one handed R two on this? Oh, one handed R two maybe. 
Oh, it seems a lot easier. Oh yeah, that one-handed R2 uh, is actually fairly easy. Yeah, that one-handed R2 is not too bad. Whoops. Okay, to the right again. Like, the attack to the right. Okay, try uh, walking backwards, see uh, how that works. That might be a bit short. I'll just let you, yeah, go this way. Yeah, it's too, uh, too short. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach. It's like most of these attacks, like if you're walking away, it just does not have the speed and reach. It's really uh, only if you stay close that it can go through pretty much. Yeah. Okay, what? Oh, maybe the running actually could. Oh, interesting. Try walking away again. It actually has some fast recovery, so if you if you miss it, I feel like I might have time to roll out. It's still pretty hard because it's kind of short. Really, like it tries to stand still. Now, if you're standing still, it's really easy. Or if you're walking towards me, it's very easy, but at the moment you're at the moment you're walking away, try to walk away again. Yeah, the moment you're walking away, it just does not does not have the range. Let me try with this though. This is the uh, the large one. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is goofy. I think it's going to be easier with this because it has that crazy reach. Unlike the uh, Ultra though, it's not um it's not too bad if you whiff that running or if you like miss it cuz the recovery is fairly fast. That running attack might actually be decent with the long one like this one. Try to walk away uh, against this. I feel like I'm a lot closer. It's very close. Hmm. Like the sword is going through you, but there's no hitbox. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you see that? Like the sword is clipping through you. Really that one-handed R2 that's best, it seems, when you're close like this. One-handed R2 has the... Enough arc to make it go through the shield, but as soon as you're walking away again, like most things, it just does not hold up anymore. And if you're going to your right, try to go to your right again. Yeah, it's actually really hard to to get that angle. Because I have to lock off and I'm completely losing target if I do that. Yeah, you're pretty much safe if you strafe to the side like that. I cannot uh, dead angle you. But this side...
Wow. Interesting. Okay, let's try the rolling. What's the rolling on this? This right there. Oh, seems fairly easy. I just need to angle it to the right and uh, it goes through. What about if I angle it the... Oh, even to the left. Maybe a bit more risky, but... Yeah, to the right is gonna be better. Okay, try to walk away after uh, what, while I'm doing this. Might be fast enough, I don't know. Oh! Let's try uh, with the killage, that rolling attack. Yeah, killage is too short. Okay, let's try the katana, katerner. Actually quite hard. What do you running? Oh, the rolling on this, this right there. Oof. I feel like Katana is gonna have a real hard time. Oops, going through a uh, with a dead angle. Wow, I'm really trying my hardest here to uh, angle this that swing like as tight as I can, going to the opposite side, and it just does not seem. Uh... Wow. Like, so tight, you have to really get it at 90 degree while, like, not being too much to your right, otherwise there's too much forward momentum. And I end up, like, whiffing completely. Oh! Yeah, I feel like Katana so far seems to be the hardest, honestly. Okay, maybe the... Okay, so the rolling attack, you'd want to roll to the right side and then uh, do it completely backward, but it seems pretty... Uh... I don't know if someone's going to be able to pull that off. Oh, maybe two-handed. Yeah, yeah, the two-handed so far seems, on the second swing, seems to be the easiest for the katana. Okay, try walking away. Yeah, not enough forward momentum on that second, I think. Wow, I felt like this one was perfect too.
Yeah, same problem as if, uh, like everything. Try right, this. Okay, no. Okay, I think that's it for Katana. It's pretty damn hard. So far, I think the two-handed uh, R1 second swing to the right seems to be the way to go. What about S-Stock? I don't know how S-Stock is gonna get through a guard, but... Okay, you can angle that R2, so maybe... Nope, not gonna happen with a stock. Alright, let's try the two handed uh, thingy moveset. Wait, that's actually two handed penetrator sword uh, moveset as well. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Um I like the sound of it though. <laughs> it sounds very deep and hmm. It's not that hard to get, actually, it's still kind of short, but what if you walk away again? Oof, yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> They're way too short. Okay, what about the R2 on this? I do it to the left. Yeah, to the left here is uh, not too bad at all, actually. So that R2 to the left, actually very easy if you're close to me. <laughs> if you're walking away again, I can't do anything. <laughs> I don't know if there's a uh, very one-handed. No. Yeah. And I don't know if there's a larger one, longer one. Does that even go through shield? No. What about the R2? No. Okay. Yeah, it's the same R2 really. That R2 is actually not that bad when you're close. I don't know if there's a, a mace or an axe that's longer than this. That would uh, make it a lot easier, I think. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so what's cool about the R2 is I can start my swing while locked on and lock off during the swing, and I can pretty much manually aim it while I'm swinging. So it's very easy if you're close to me and if you can reach. I'd be curious if there's a, a weapon that's longer with this particular moveset. That might be actually good. That R2 is pretty reliable. All right, let's try the, <laughs> the Great Axe. Oh boy. And that's a, that's if the guy does not roll either. PR2 on this. Feels like worse than the Great Axe. <laughs> or than the Great Sword, I mean. Like it does not hit you from behind at all. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Uh. Okay, try to uh, walk away. Go away from me. Yeah. Yeah, it's just when you're walking away like that, like I pretty much need to go forward if I want to hit your shield. If I go anywhere else, try to not move. Um, 
Yeah, because here the rolling attack is actually quite easy to get. As long as you're past that 90 degree angle on the rolling attack, it goes straight through the shield. As long as it hits you though, like you need to be uh, close enough, but it's very easy to get. It's just the moment you're uh, running away, it's not going to reach. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, I kind of roll past you there. It really doesn't seem that good. Oh. Okay, so I have to go like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to roll like a bit to your uh, your left, my right, oops, and get the very end of it. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can catch someone off guard with that, but uh, even then, like if you miss, it's again a free backstab, like most uh, most of this stuff. Okay, what about the one-handed moves? Feels very linear actually. But the R2. Okay, the R2 one handed seems to be like similar to a great sword. Where I can uh, start the swing locked on and then change the direction at the last second and it goes through. Yep. Whoops, sorry. Like, uh, the range is very, very tight. I, again, I, I don't think you'd be able to pull that off in, in a fight either, unless the guy is walking toward you. As soon as they're walk, uh, walking away from... Try to walk away. I'm sure it's not going to connect, but just for... Yeah. It feels like it could almost reach, but... Yeah. Again, same problem. Now let's try the fist. I don't know about that. Might actually get one offhand as well. <laughs> oh my god, like... There's no uh, changing the direction of the swing here, so it always go goes forward if I start lock-on. I have to completely unlock it, and uh, it makes things quite hard. Oh, I got it there. I, I don't think uh, anyone would play uh, with the fist like semi-seriously though, so... But I guess you can do it if you angle to the side, but it's actually ridiculously hard because you have to completely manually aim that. You cannot lock on whatsoever during the process. Try to walk away. Yeah. What about the jab? Uh, try to stand still. Yeah, there's no way it's gonna go through with this. Okay, what's the R2 on this? That, oh boy. Oh my god, yeah. Not gonna happen, I'm not even gonna try that. It's just downright useless. Oh, maybe the rolling is decentered. It seems fast enough to be somewhat useful, the uh, that rolling attack. And then maybe I can get a, <laughs> a headbutt after that, perhaps. And then start from here. <laughs> uh. I mean, 
mean, it's still pretty, like, it's a pretty uh, small weapon, so... It's still quite hard to get. Well, okay, what else is there? What's the running attack on this? Oof. Yeah, no. Like, parry me, please. Okay, uh, yeah, I think... Now for the fist, let's try... What's next? The spear, actually, okay. Interesting. I'm curious if we're... Gonna be able to do it with that R2. Because that R2, you have really free reign over it. Aha, yeah, I knew it. I... Oh, I think it's all about the timing on this one for when you dead angle it. Seems quite hard, but. <laughs> uh, could you imagine if doing a 360 would actually be useful? Okay, I think I get it. Um, it's very hard, but. Right after this. Oof. Right after this. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's possible, but it's... Oh, okay, maybe... Uh, not too bad. Okay, that running attack... Uh, seems not bad, actually. Okay, but you can parry me after I land it. Interesting. Okay, I try walking away from uh, this one. Hmm. Yeah, same problem. Okay, maybe the rolling, uh, yeah. to the left it's kind of kind of a small arc so it's not that good like it does not do like a wide arc whoops sorry a wide arc like some of those other running attacks or uh, rolling attack I mean yeah I mean if with enough dedication, you can get it, but uh, I don't think I'd be attempting this. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Uh, the one-handed real quick, though. You to the left? I think I got you with the backhand, too. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try the uh, right there. Hmm. Yeah. The guard break. It actually locks me in the direction I started, so I have to start locked off, actually. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's actually harder than it looks. Yeah, you have to completely unlock on this. You cannot start lock on whatsoever. Like the usually what I will do is I'll press R2 first and then aim toward the right direction. But on this, you cannot do that. You have to be looking the right way first. And then doing it, so it makes it even more 
um, like risky for getting backstabbed. I have to like aim away like before I even start the swing. I cannot like change direction at the last minute like some of the others. Like I have to start like looking like uh like this almost, you know? Which is very hard to do. Yeah, let's try the one-handed, maybe the we'll have better luck with this. Oh my god. Ugh, that is... Oh my god. It like locks your character while you're doing it, so it's... Character is just not moving whatsoever. Oh boy. Maybe the R2. Same problem as the other R2, you have to start on lock. Oh, maybe a bit less. Yeah, it's actually quite bad all around. Like, it's doable, but it's it locks you in the, uh, the direction you're starting, so it's hard to get. The rolling on this seems to be the same as the uh, the spear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else is there? The one hand running on this. Yeah, the two-handed running is probably your best bet. Maybe uh, aiming it to the side is safer than aiming it away. But uh, again, if you're walking away, try to walk away. Yeah, it's just not happening anymore the moment you walk away. Okay, um... So try to walk away again. That's that's probably the best uh, the best one so far is the the great sword where you can start an R one and you might get a chance at catching you when you walk away at the very end of the tip. Yeah, I think so. When you're walking away, maybe the uh, that penetrator sword was not too bad. Let me try that again. Try walking away. I think you can do it with Penetrator Sword too. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Um, if you'd have a shorter straight sword, it would be harder. But I think the great sword might actually be best for that purpose because you can start locked on. Like it can start. Looking straight, straight in front, and then angle the swing away while I'm um, attacking you lock on. So I can lock on to you and then just uh, change direction as soon as my attack, uh, I let go my attack. So it's definitely the easiest one to pull off, I guess, when you're going away. But the, the straight sword doesn't seem too bad. And the, actually this one right here. That uh, rolling attack is quite good at getting around the shield too, it's fairly easy to get. And because the recovery is so short, this one actually feels uh, very safe. Does it combo into anything when you land the uh, rolling with this? And there's the running too. Yeah, running you have to be unlocked completely. Um, well, I guess that covers everything.